Hello guys. Um, today we're gonna be doing a more quicker video, um, because I just wanted to show off this build and you know thread. You know the stalker bow that you usually get pretty easily. It's like the most common drop from stalker. Um, yeah, this weapon, by all definitions, does have an incarnate form, and it's really good. Um, I would say the incarnate form it has is not as good as its base form. I would recommend just never activating its incarnate form because I'm just going to show you an example, okay, in terms of damage with this build. It's a death. Have on our next opponent. And I'm pretty sure it has some punch through. And as you can see, that damage is pretty good. And, like, if you get, like, four slash blocks, it just melts your enemies. You know? um, see? Space form, it does so much damage. Now you're probably asking, what about the incarnate farm, you may say? Well, the incarnate farm does something like this. It does a little weak damage, and as you see, the slash damage is pretty good. But usually, you're not going to rely on this form as much, because without the slash damage, it doesn't do much damage, to be completely honest with you. The slash damage is the one that does the most damage here, as you can see. The heat damage is not doing too much. And that's why I would say the incarnate form is not as great. It's also not really an AoE. It looks like an AoE, as you can see. If I were to show it in it's not an AoE. If that was an AoE, it would have hit it. Um, I would personally say if this was an AoE, it would have been way more effective. It would have counteracted, you know, the whole bad stuff about it, but eh, I digress. It melts most of you that you can see, and, um, yeah, it does a pretty good job what it does. And that, that was the important part right there, and it didn't even trigger the heat drop. Anyways, time to show you the build. So, we have Galvanized Chamber. For, you know, the multi-shot, obviously. Hunter's Munition, which makes this build work very well. Critical Delay for the crit chance. Um, Hammer Shot, which, you know, is really much here just for the crit chance. But it does give us 80% status chance. I know this is usually a meme mod, but I personally enjoy it. If I don't really have any room... I haven't unlocked the Exilus slot for this. But if you are going to use any Exilus slots, I would personally recommend Vigilant Supplies as it greatly boosts your damage overall, especially if you have Vigilant mods on your Warframe. This will just increase the crit chance and you won't have to worry about it much, um, especially since it stacks with this. I have Vigilant Fervor for that fire rate so we don't have, you know, the consequences of this, but this also increases our crit chance, as you can see. Vital Sense for the extra crit damage, Galvanized Aptitude for, you know, the direct damage and stuff with the stash chance so we basically get a lot more stash chance these basically have the same mechanic you know but this one gives me crit damage this one gives me direct damage now this is the sorry um this is going to be the one that um is your switch out mod you could replace it with a aug no like not an augment um a ribbon if you want to personally um like I said, this build is very flexible. You could replace this move one with and put a ribbon here, and then replace this one with like a faction mod. It is completely up to you. These two completely changeable. It's up to you if you want to use them. It's completely understandable if you don't have hammer shot. This one's like one of the rarer mods, I guess. Um, longbow sharp shot. This is like I don't have a maxed out one yet. But, big but on this one, if you do have a maxed out one, this one works 100% well. I wouldn't say use Merciless or Deadhead, 
because Deadhead, it could work. It could do it because it does give you a headshot multiplier, which, you know, does give you more damage. But if you're not as good at aiming or headshots, I wouldn't recommend it. There is also a niche case for primary blight if you want to, or primary frostbite. They are reworking damage, so primary frostbite and primary blight will actually be really good. And I will be making a build very soon when that update drops. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but overall, yeah. That's the video. I've taken enough of your time. Have a gr wonderful day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.